Hi, I'm Dr. Malay. Today I would like to discuss a problem that a lot of Americans are facing. That is thyroid dysfunction. Specifically, more and more Americans are finding out that their thyroids are not functioning appropriately. In other words, we have what is called low functioning thyroids. This, now understand, this is extremely important because thyroid regulates body size. And if you're like me and everyone else that I know, body size is a huge, huge deal out there. Whether you're into weight loss or just being as fit as you can be, the size of your body is actually extremely important. So not to mention body size, we're talking depression, we're talking hair loss, fatigue, uh, a whole list of symptoms that will come along with thyroid dysfunction. But let's take a look. I'm going to go through on the board here just a little bit and kind of give you a little what I call thyroid 101. And in the next two or three minutes, you're going to know more than 99% of the people out there in the environment. So let's go through this. First of all, as you know, the thyroid is a gland. A gland is nothing other than a place that the body uses or a location or an organ that is actually producing a specific type of chemistry or chemical. That chemical is going to be used inside the body. In the body, chemicals are called hormones. They're not called chemicals because it makes it sound like a, you know, a, a pile of something we're not supposed to have. And in this case, we do need to have these chemicals working for us. So they're called hormones. If you look at it, and upstairs we've got a brain. The brain is communicating specifically down to the rest of the body. We'll draw this as the body probably a thyroid issue from what I'm seeing here, to via what's called the pituitary. The pituitary controls and regulates all of the chemistry that happens in the body. It is the determination or the, the relation between the brain and the chemistry. So let's take a look at this for a second. If the pituitary senses that there's not enough thyroid floating around in the bloodstream, what it's going to do is it's sending a signal down to the thyroid. What it's going to do is it's going to tell the thyroid, please create more hormone. Well, it only is going to do that when it senses there's not enough floating around. The thyroid creates a hormone called T4. Now, T4 even though it is what's created, is not the primary source of thyroid that the body can actually utilize. It has to peel off one, so to speak, and become T3 to be a usable format inside of the body for many of the functions that the thyroid does. So as it's floating around, the thyroid creates T4 for the body, floats around, first of all it stops at the liver, and the liver will convert approximately 60% of this conversion from T4 over to T3, the usable form of thyroid, all of that is taking place, 60% of it, excuse me, is being taken place in the liver. The other 40%, 20 of it pulls off as a, a waste product. It's never con converted. The other 20% is converted inside the gut. Now let's take a look at this. If this is what dictates thyroid hormone in the body, and we're finding that most Americans are deficient in low thyroid or, or having a low thyroid function, or deficient probably in either T4 or T3, then we've got to take a look and say, okay, is the brain tell the thyroid what to do, or at least communicating with the pituitary, pituitary to the brain, to the thyroid, the answer is probably yes. Then why is it that all of a sudden in our system, and specifically for a society, we're low on T4, we're low on T3? Now, we can turn around, we can go to the drugstore, we can go to our doctor, and he can give us uh, some sort of prescription. Usually it's T4 based and they just load you up on T4. That's called Synthroid or Levothyroxine, a lot of different names, but bottom line is they're loading you up on T4 as if that's the only thing that you're needing. Primarily, fire, the pituitary is wanting to see how much of this you've got floating around. Well, if the conversion happens in the liver 
and it happens in the gut and at a certain point in your life all of a sudden the liver is toxic or the liver is not functioning very well this conversion may only go down to say 20 percent instead of 60 percent or the gut instead of doing 20 percent may go down to doing nothing if that's the case you can probably see how all of a sudden your brain is saying oh my heavens we've got a thyroid malfunction we're not creating enough hormone when in fact the problem is you've got a toxic liver or an imbalanced gut maybe from taking antibiotics or not eliminating properly or being dehydrated most of us don't drink enough water tons of different things that can cause problems here which in essence will show up as a thyroid problem so if I'm seeing eight out of ten of the females coming into the office and the, the guys have the same problem they just don't acknowledge it as readily but the bottom line is if you're seeing eight out of ten people coming through the office are having symptoms signs and even blood work done where they're actually seeing thyroid malfunctions we've got to take a look and say why is that happening when you look at the function of the liver it's there to screen it's there to take out toxins it's there to remove certain things from our system and it has an accumulating negative effect when it's not being detoxified by handling all the things that we have so this support to the liver has got to be 200 percent that needs to be supported the other thing is to support that gut so let's take a look at this we could just give you thyroid medication but it's not going to solve the problem if the, there's a conversion problem and there's a gut problem my recommendation to my patients is before we start putting things in there you may or may not need that we need to take a look at the liver detoxify the liver and I recommend a 10 day detoxification that not only works on the liver but also the kidney also the lymphatic system also the colon we need to start putting enzymes into the system. We need to start putting the appropriate essential vitamins and minerals into the system. All of this is found in one product that I found, and this is what I recommend to my patients. It's a, patient, it's a product called Preptonic, or Alpha, depending on which company you're buying it from. But the bottom line is, is it is a product that has the ability in 10 days and it's not this explosive have to sit on the toilet for 10 day type scenario this is a very mild very controlled doesn't change any of your workflow or your work patterns or anything like that but it is a comp comprehensive detoxification that has the ability to really clean this support this and after that is when I tell my patients go to step two to see if there's still a thyroid malfunction that's thyroid 101 so my recommendation before you do anything and take you know get on medication for the rest of your life take a look at your system detoxify your body build your gut up get the essential nutrition that you're needing and in doing that you're going to see changes happen so you're not going to be needing medication for the rest of your life I'm Dr. Malay and I thank you for your time